going to use all this up, so don't be worried about it. Oh, this one like needs to be remixed. Okay, you can make more than one puddle too if you want. And you can also do those eyeball things I showed you if you want to like do one in hers, you know, like kind of layer the colors a little bit. when you have more clear because I like this la this layering thing that happens when you have more of the clear but I think it can be dramatic just with the colors too you can get some interesting effects so you can let that dry you can paint on top you could collage on top you could draw on top whatever you want to do with this when it's done you can do it if it were done again on this you could peel it up and slice it and you know create little shapes with it and so forth the thing about this is you can't be controlling it. You have to let go. So if you're the kind of person who knows you need to sort of loosen up a little bit, this might be a good technique for you, right? If you feel like, oh, I'm always trying to get in there with little tiny brushes and make everything perfect, it's like, this is not, not gonna happen. You're gonna, the paint <laughs> and gravity and physics are gonna have its way with the materials and you're just gonna have to step back and guide it. Like you're dancing with the materials rather than controlling every aspect of them, but it's so fun. It this again would take at least um, probably a day or two to fully dry. By tomorrow morning, it won't be sliding around like this, but um, it might still be, the way I can tell it's fully dry is when this goes clear. The clear areas go totally clear. So um, depending on the climate and all that, it could be two or three days. And it keeps leveling. I don't know if you noticed, but it keeps spreading out. Oh, here's something fun now. Who didn't get to try? Drip some ink in there just for fun. You want to try some, some, ink? some ink? Sure. Who didn't, who didn't get to try something? You didn't get to try anything. Get in here and drip some ink right on there and see what happens. This is... Um, uh, it can be very meditative doing this because a lot of it is just watching. So it'll take a while for these drips to do their thing. At first they look like little drips, but we'll see. They start to do interesting things over time. I feel like this would be such a great thing for a physics class, because you could have the professor or the students tell you what was happening with physics with all this. Like, There's a lot to this that's, you know, that's happening here. You see? Yeah. So this, this will ha keep happening over time, so you could just sit there and watch it for quite a while and it will continue to evolve and change in interesting ways. So 